Hi, welcome to this tutorial. We're on Windows 10. We just went to Arch Labs Linux SourceForge. We downloaded the latest ISO and the question is now how shall we burn it to our USB? So we have this UNET boot in is one of the options you can do. And you can download it for Windows and then save it. And now we're gonna do it all the way and install it on our USB. Okay, that's done. Let's have a look at our download. We have already twice. So we're gonna install unit boot in. Sure, my friend, go ahead. And here we have this image or the, the program, and here we have the image. So I have an USB in my hand. I'm gonna pop it in into the system as we speak. Alright. It's in there, as you can see down here. It's already an ISO from Arch Labs, and I'm gonna burn over it. So he wants to know which ISO are you going to use, and I'm gonna tell him. And there is actually maybe a better way. I'm gonna try it. Then I learned something as well. Is it possible to take this one and put it in here? No, it's not. So we have to move to downloads to the ISO and say OK. Put it in and then let's take a look at our PC. It's the I letter that the USB has. So I want to write to the I and the I is not there. So we stop the program and restart the program. That's the only thing we can do. Here we are still waiting for the apparatus to install. That's what it's saying here. But just uh, let's see what we can do already. If we go to downloads again, you will put in yes, run. Maybe he found it already. As you can see, you have to be patient sometimes, but then uh, success. So this ISO is going in and we can select then everything else. There's not much, not much to select actually. It's only this part you have to look at. Because we're downloading an ISO and we have the ISO and we're gonna burn it. As simple as that. And then you have to wait and you have to take a cup of coffee or anything you like. And then you start with uh, to boot up from the USB. That's sometimes a challenge. You have to find the keyboard shortcut, which is probably F2, F8, delete and escape. F12 as well. So you have to figure out how to get um, ready into this USB and that's um, hardware dependent so you have to figure that out. Alright, that concludes this tutorial.